The resignation of Jennifer Msisi in 2018 after seven years as executive director of KCCA came as a surprise. In that letter, she cited a number of challenges, key among them, the unceasing bickering between the political and technical wings of KCCA. Engineer Andrew Chitaka was appointed as the acting executive director and has been in office for close to two years. Today, he handed over to Dorothy Chitaka amid his cause for collective action. We have the staffing situation at KCCA where most of the staff at KCCA are temporary staff on four months contracts. Uh, this is demotivating and uh, it will be a challenge to get the most out of these people. Of course, we have had inadequate funding since the inception of KCCA. We have made a lot of efforts to increase our internal revenue we shall need political support in this area if we are to realize a self-sustaining institution. Dorothy Saka has been the former deputy head at the office of the Prime Minister's Delivery Unit. She was also an administrator, COVID-19 response fund. She is the board chairman, Development Associates International. Between 2010 and 2014, she was commissioner, NRM Electoral Commission, and is also the founder of Chiemba Chisaka and Company Advocates. Our first concern in Kampala as a leadership is safety for all. Together with her team, Chisaka says their focus will be on seven key areas which include a culture that promotes unity. We shall work towards minimizing interruptions to development by building bridges that promote peace across the many stakeholders. We cannot develop the city in the midst of unending intentional interruptions. We will promote a culture that says we are bigger than the differences that divide us. Well, for many years, the relationship between KCCA's technical and political wings was stormy, with Mosisi and Lord Mayor Arias Lukwago failing to agree on several issues. Today, Lukwago has asked all stakeholders to address the underlying issues in the institution. These uncoordinated movements and the policies which are not properly processed, which are not anchored on plan, with all due respect to honorable minister, they are causing us problems. And we are being cast in bad light that we are fighting the development, yet for us we want to organize the development. As the new leadership takes over, the question of many is on how these underlying issues between the political and technical team will be addressed. Sandra Twinoglio, NTV News.